Hi, I'm Martha. Welcome to Adulting with a Disability. Today I want to talk about core support in your NDIS budget. If you haven't subscribed yet, go click on subscribe and make sure you tick the bell so you get notifications of when my new videos come out. So, if you have an NDIS plan, you are likely to have core supports. In these core supports, you are likely to have transport allowance, which is directly credited into your bank account. The transport allowance money will help you access the community, social and community participation, and also access work and or school. Also in the core supports, you have daily activities, social and community participation, and consumables. I would like to go into some of what you can do with each of these categories. What I'm sharing is not exhaustive, so you may know of other things that you can do with your budget. Daily activities include personal care, with a support worker or a nurse, domestic assistance through a support worker in your home. You can also get yard maintenance, someone to mow your lawn, do a bit of weeding, etc. There's also a meal delivery service. You can use funding from your daily activity to purchase this. Although you do have to make a co-payment of the food. NDIS pay for the preparation and delivery. Also with daily activities you can use a linen service and short term accommodation which used to be known as respite. With your social and community participation budget you can access the community through having a support worker take you out and you can also access group activities. Your consumable budget can include repairs to equipment under $500, continence and bowel management products that you may need to purchase, adaptive equipment that will help you, hen products, wipes and sterilization equipment. By no means as I said before, is this list exhaustive? But I wanted to give you some idea. And feel free to talk about things and ask questions because that's the only way we're going to learn. And also, it would be great if you could share with us what you use your NDIS core supports for. Some core supports have open plans, which means you can use the money as you deem fit and others have specific things that you can purchase your with your NDIS money. Your LAC can shed light on what you can and can't do with this money. If your plan is flexible, you can use your daily activities money, social and community money, and consumables money in any way you deem fit. So just say you don't have enough money in consumables, you can have the money from daily activities, some of it moved to consumables, so you can purchase your products. And likewise, if you use more daily activity support workers in the home, you can take money out of social and community participation, put more money in daily activities, to pay for this. My plan is to address the other support categories in a later NDIS video. That's all for today. Bye for now.